The, the paper is about a very specific kind of technical change. So there, there, there are lots of pieces of, to technical change. Some of it has to do with producing consumption goods. What my paper is about is the particular importance of capital goods, the equipment used by farmers, by factories, telecommunications equipment. And a, 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 an important fact about that specific piece of output is the relative price of equipment in the U.S. and other developing countries has been falling very rapidly over the last 60 years. Now, the fact that that relative price is falling means that, you know, producers, businesses, farmers, everyone who's a producer can use and wants to use more and more of that equipment. Um, so the, the falling price means they can afford more machinery for their farm, more machinery for their factory. And that raises productivity. And as long as that decline in the relative price goes on, it contributes to long-run growth. Just year after year after year, the price of equipment keeps falling, and it contributes. In the U.S., people have estimated more than half of long-run growth. Now, the fact that these uh, capital goods are traded internationally, and they are a big component of world trade, means, in effect, that every country in the world could enjoy this growth, additional growth, coming from cheaper capital goods. So if Peru or any other country that imports equipment from the U.S., from Japan, from Europe, can enjoy through their imports, through their improving terms of trade, this declining price of equipment and enjoy the growth, the long-run growth that comes along with it. They can't take advantage as fully, but um, for, it, it would depend on the kinds of, there are many kinds of equipment where that might not be as relevant. So for computers, for, for example, it's probably very relevant. For, say, farm equipment, it may be much less relevant. So um, that would perhaps, you know, uh, reduce to some extent this effect, but I would think not, not, not eliminate it altogether. Oh, I think it's very clear that if, if uh, a developing country is thinking about trade policy, tariffs or other barriers to imports of capital goods are the worst possible policy they could adopt. Um, it's just uh, shutting out an important channel through which uh, they could be enjoying growth uh, you know, that's basically imported from the rest of the world. Well, I think the, the, it, 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 what it says is that the capital skill complementarity argument says that imports of equipment should also be raising the premium for skilled labor. And so it means that uh, either governments or, you know, government policy or the private sector will have an incentive to do this too, to, uh, you know, provide better education. So. Uh, it certainly says uh, there's, there's probably more of a role for, uh, you know, uh, promoting better education. Thanks a lot.